Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be a beautiful rose gold look. You can't tell from the small video clips, but I had some major technical difficulties. Anyway, if you want to see how I achieved this beautiful look, then keep watching. So I've already primed my face with Smashbox Photo Finish in Light and now I'm just using my Beauty Blender to apply as my NARS foundation all over. So first I'm going in with NYX Orange Concealer to cancel out the darkness that I have. And then I'm going to go in with three others, two that are similar to my skin tone and then one that's very light and that's going to go directly on top of the darkness. Thinking about you staring at the stars. So I'm just using the excess from my brush and going to use that as a highlighter for my forehead, my nose, Cupid's bow, and my chin. going to blend all of that out with my beauty blender and then I'm going to set it with my translucent Laura Mercier powder. Right now I'm doing a little powder contouring and bronzing with my chocolate Soleil in my Too Faced palette. I'm going to highlight with MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm going to apply that on the high points of my cheeks and everywhere I applied the highlighting concealer. For blush I'm using Fleur Power and Desert Rose both from MAC. I'm actually using the same concealer over my eyelids to cancel out the color and create more vibrancy, but it's not an eyeshadow primer. So right now in my crease and a little bit above my crease, I'm blending Rule from MAC. This is going to be my transition color and I'm applying it a little more heavily handed so I can get that gorgeous orange hue and mimicking an outer shape V as well. So in the outer corners, I'm going in with brown script from MAC and I'm going to stay below rule just so that it seamlessly blends. Right now I'm applying gold mine all over my lids. This isn't going to be the color that I'm sticking with. I'm just applying it as a base and it also allows for my other shadows to blend more easily. I should have told you. Should have told you. I'm applying all that glitters all over my lid. The color of the hour is going to be expensive pink. This one's the one that looks exactly like rose gold and I fell in love with it the minute that I saw it. I'm applying that in the inner corners. So this is the look with my liner and lashes. I ran out of liquid liner and gel liner. I had to use black shadow. It was a mess. I had to film it off of camera. I'm using one of my favorites, Blankety from MAC. That's the perfect rosy nude color. And then I'm going to use my Butter Gloss from NYX in the color Tiramisu. And that's it for makeup. That's a completed look. And now I have to refresh my curls. So if you want to see how I do that, keep on watching. At the stop. So right now I'm just misting my hair with some water and conditioner. Then I'm going to spray with Cantu Curl Refreshener Spray and detangle with my fingers. Then I'm going to use the Kids Mango by Sheer Moisture. Even though the whole line is all natural products, I really like the way this one smells. And I'm just going to apply that in the drier areas. It's very creamy consistency and it moisturizes perfectly. So I'll just play around with it all over my hair and on the ends. Then I'm going to go in with my Cantu Custard Gel. I think that's what it's called. I'll list it down below anyway. And I'll just go in the middle of my hair and towards the ends definitely around my hairline because that's where I seem to get the most frizz and I just want that perfect curl 
Lastly, I'm going to use Extra Light Super Grow. I apply that to my hairline and the ends of my hair since they're the driest. It seals in the gel and it just allows for a longer duration of um, moisture. So I love the voluminous curls, so I'll just play around with my hair, flip it from side to side, figure out which way I want the part, and then I'm done. So that's how I refresh my curls and allow it to last for a good three to four days. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, bye. Don't forget to leave some love and comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe.